Okay, so today we have Happy Lovers at Last United by Morrissey. Uh, this was requested, and uh, I mean, like pretty much every Morrissey track I react to, I, you know, you folks tell me what to do. Um, so yeah, this is, I, I guess it was an unreleased track from the Bonadrag era. And uh, yeah, we're going to get into it now. I do know, apparently, well, this is the studio album version. Apparently there's a couple of versions. I listened to a couple of them just at the start. And they sounded the same to me. So anyway, hopefully, you know, there's no difference. So anyway, let's get into this. Talk about it after. Let's go. Lovers at Last United. Morrissey's titles are always like, you know, top notch. And, you know, talking about top notch, <clears throat> not even just talking about Morrissey here, but I am getting so, you know, I never gave freaking Vinnie Riley on gu guitar here. Uh, I never gave Vinnie Riley, you know, the props the man deserves. The guitar work here is amazing again. And, uh, you know, just to talk about each of the band members here on the, um, on the song, you know, Stephen Street on bass and Andrew Parisi on drums. You know, Morrissey obviously went through so many band members, but they all of them, I mean, maybe, you know, if you know more about, you know, in the comments, but it always sounds good to me, of course. Um, but, you know, I don't know, Vinnie Riley was, has to be obviously one of his best guitarists. And I mean, I always like Spencer Coburn on the drums as well, but I mean, obviously Parisi was very good as well. And uh, it's just, I don't know, he always had great band mate, great, you know, members in his band, whatever. Uh, and I mean, they could always, obviously, like I've seen, they could put on a great live show as well. And, uh, again, here, you know, that guitar work, especially, you know, at the end, it comes through more prominently. The bass work is great as well. I mean, 
almost like a grimy kind of a bass sound, or maybe guitar sound as well. Um, but yeah, like I said at the start too, uh, Parisi was kind of, he was pounding the drums really at the start when he kind of came in. A uh, very kind of a light intro, uh, and then like five seconds in or whatever is when, I, I, you know, everything kind of kicks in, especially the drums, I felt. And uh, yeah, I just really enjoyed everything. I mean, again, in Morrissey's voice here, he sounds like he's like, you know, you're hanging on to every word even more. Uh, and how he's talking about, uh, and how he kind of, what the word, I guess, like elongates, I guess, words, whatever, you know, just looking at the lyrics here, I guess. Uh, and how he talks about, you know, I mean, and what he's talking about here, kind of being like a third wheel, I guess. Uh, but uh, yeah, like I usually do, I am on Genius, and it says for the about, uh, there's just a short about, it's just Happy Lovers at Last United, United was released as a bonus track on the 2010 remastered edition of Bona Drag. Uh, or bonus track. I can never remember which one it is. Anyway, um, looking at the lyrics, you know, just right at the top. Let's get into it. Happy lovers back together. Uh, and I do feel proud. I like, you know, it's again, the Morrissey tongue, maybe not even tongue in cheek, but the whole, this is his lyricism all over, of course. Um, <laughs> I'm just laughing already because I don't know. I just like how, what he says. Uh, and I do feel proud. I'm not the type to boast, as you know. <laughs> uh, though it was me who brought them back together. And it's just, I'm not the type to boast. But hey, I brought them back together. Uh, chorus one. Uh, <laughs> the first chorus. He is so kind and she is so clever. But they don't want me now hanging around. Uh, happy lovers at last united. Happy lovers at last united. Uh, and then, you know, the second verse comes in. I rang her... I, and then basically, I guess he just shows, you know, the story of how he did it, uh, how he got them back together. So, you know, I rang her to her to explain of how he really wants to see you again. I said more or less the same thing to him, too, which wasn't true. And now they walk hand in hand. So kind of, he's lying, I guess, you know, uh, he really wants to see you again. I said more or less the same to him. Which wasn't true, so she wasn't really into it, I guess. Uh, then it goes on, and now they walk hand in hand. All is planned with the silent glance. I believe the only lovers share, and I'm proud to have done something good for once. Uh, again, a couple great lines in here. A couple great Morrissey-esque things that, you know, uh, that he's so good at, you know, talking about, you know, something. I've done something good for once, you know, for once in my life. And it's just, it's that same Morrissey kind of outlook that he always has, and it's just like, and it, nobody writes like that you know that I've listened to uh he has a certain uh songwriting ability I mean goddamn uh and then second chorus to end out the song because she is so kind and he's so clever uh and I think that changed didn't it because uh, it started out that he's so kind and she's so clever and now she's so kind and he's so clever I like the change there I didn't even notice it when I was listening uh but they don't need me now hanging around happy lovers at last at last united happy lovers at last united and then it's repeated again. Uh, so, you know, I, I, you know, I guess, you know, the kind of, I mean, the song, basically the whole thing about, you know, the story of being the third wheel, setting up a relationship and then being cast aside. And it's just like, you know, I mean, I haven't experienced that personally. Um, but I mean, obviously, uh, it's happened to many other people. I do know of a situation. Uh, and, you know, it's just like where, you know, you bring somebody together and then all two people together. And then... Uh, and then, you know, he's proud to have done something good for once. And then all of a sudden, you know, you're kind of cast aside. It's like, thanks for doing that. And then it's just like you kind of, you know, just fade away from the relationship or they just don't want you to be there anymore kind of a thing. And, uh, yeah, I just really enjoyed everything going on here. Like I said, especially with the guitar work. Uh, and it's just, I don't know, I've seemed to notice more recently that Vinny Riley is so freaking good. Uh, but also, I am on a a good site here to talk for Morrissey, passionsjustlikemine.com, uh, and it has a bunch of facts about uh, the song. It says, the song was very likely written during the first few months of 1988. It was recorded during the Every Day is Like Sunday B-Side session in March 1988 um, with producer Stephen Street. Musicians on the track were Vinnie Riley on guitar and perhaps piano, it says, Stephen Street on bass, Andrew Parisi on drums. This may also feature a string sextet led by John Metcalf. Uh, and that goes on about, you know, it being three minutes and 13 seconds long. Live performances says the song has never been done live. Uh, and it goes on and uh, it's a taken, it's a studio outtake taken from a record company CD of a scrapped reissue of Bona Drag. Uh, the, this first leaked on Rev Revelation bootleg before being remastered and officially released and redesigned in the edition of Bona Drag. So I guess it was leaked and a bootleg called Revelation 
and then it got re you know reassigned and all this stuff and it's it was on the new edition from 2010 for bone and drag and i mean morrissey like i said last week he has a plethora of songs that of good songs you know songs that you know they don't have to be uh you know so many artists you know some songs they hit release are you know not as good as some others but he, for morrissey it's just like he could just write a song and it's just like it's, and, and you know his lyricism knows no bounds whatever that kind of thing i don't even know i'm trying to explain but it's just like you know he can release any kind of song and it can be like maybe not no you know his bit most popular one but it's not a song you'll skip kind of a thing and uh, here, it's just like, Happy Lovers at Last United, you know, it has that tongue-in-cheek kind of Morrissey thing, the whole thing about being a third wheel and, you know, not being used, not being useful anymore, that kind of Morrissey kind of sad kind of writing a little bit, and uh, like I said, the couple lines in there of, you know, uh, I was useful for once, and uh, it's just talking about, I'm not one to boast, but, you know, I brought them together, and, uh, you know, he can write so many songs like this, it's just nuts, uh, just er after another, uh, any listenable freaking tune. And, uh, yeah, so, anyway, I mean, I guess that's all I've got to really say, so thanks for the request, uh, again, an unreleased track, and it's just, like, and it finally came out, and it's just, like, it could, it could have been on the album, it's good enough, obviously, but, hey, Moz is the boss, anyway, uh, and again, love the guitar work, can't get over that, and the drums were pounding, and the bass from Steve Street as well, great bass line in there, I mean, everything, you know, like I said, his bands are always so good, now I'm just rambling on, anyway, I guess that's all I gotta say, thanks for watching, thanks for liking, subscribing, commenting, all that stuff.